everyone, and welcome to another episode of Roleplay Bounce Power Dark Side. What is it? Is this week 10? The fifth one? Uh, is, are you looking for total week or dark side weeks? <laughs> Both? This is, week, this, is week, this is week nine total, and I'm not sure. I think it's dark side five. Dark side five, yep, because we're, we're the odds and the rebels are the evens. I think so, yeah. Anyways, uh, Jesse, please talk to me about your bets for tits campaign. <laughs> uh, I just think that that's the funniest thing I've ever heard of in my life, and I want bits. It's Steven Universe. Give us the bits. Give us the bits. Uh, bits. Uh, bits. Uh, bits. Uh, bits. Uh, bits. Yes. I, um, I don't know what any of it means. <laughs> As a guy whose who's Twitch profile is, hey, if you give me $3, I guess I'll give you a bunch of free shit forever. I have, like, zero vested interest. So I'm like, I don't know go. what any of it is, but it entertains me to no end that it's called bits and i am thrilled that people have picked up so quickly on bits for tits rhyming so very well it's pretty good it's pretty good so i feel real good about it fantastic uh what have you been doing jesse i know you weren't at vidcon i wasn't i uh good choice there yeah i i <laughs> haven't gone three years ago now God, i realized that, that weird uh, yeah, it's basically a Justin Bieber concert without Justin Bieber. It yes, is. Yeah, that's accurate. It is the worst. And so, yeah, I didn't go um, and proud of it. Uh, I get asked all the time. I was at YouTube. I was at the YouTube space and people that were like, you going to VidCon? I was like, no. And they're like, oh, why not? I was like, because I don't enjoy being the oldest person in the room by like 20 years. Yep. Like, I don't. It's not comfortable for me. <laughs> um yeah, and other than that, I just I, I started streaming again because now I don't have anything to do and any place to go for like a month. Isn't that the so best I, feeling? Right. I have no a lot of places to go in the great. next month, and it's real rough. I'm having I'm struggling about all this travel. Uh, I don't I don't envy you. Yeah, that was my May. May I was I spent 26 days out of the house and. Uh, June was just as, as nasty with E3 and stuff. So now I'm done till like the end of July and I'm thrilled. So fantastic. Anything you're, you're super excited to play. What's the one thing you're like, got to play that right now, right now. Uh, I don't know that I have a must play right now. I know that I want to play the new game plus of oxen free. Cause that'll be fun. But mm. I'm really, I have like 12 million games on my desktop. So I'm just working my way through them. And so far, the vast majority have been terrible, just oh. terrible. And so I'm like, well, it's saving me the trouble of having to make real videos about these. So I can just be like, yeah, let's play this game. And 20 minutes into it, be like, wow, this game's shit. New game. It's great. Streaming's great. I can easily Streaming's be like, awesome oh. for that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because turns out there's a lot of awful games. Yeah. Who knew? <laughs> Who knew? <laughs> it's very true. It's very true. Uh, well, good. Glad to have you here. Stripping. You're supposed to be moving into the office today, but you misjudged the time. Talk to me about it. I thought <laughs> the show was at four. So I'm moving in with Jesse to the office and I was like, I have time to move. And then I realized that it's at one my time. And then I was like, I don't have time to move. So now yeah. I'm in office on Wednesday. That's it. The end. There you go. There you That's go. your story. That's all Sam's got. Sam, you've been doing anything else? What have you been playing? I, you've been doing the, the One Bros run still. Well, I've been doing One Bros, but the last couple of days, um, I've been playing MXM. Yeah. So what, what the fuck is that? So MXM is like a new um, MOBA by NCSoft. And um, it's in the alpha, but it looks amazing. It's got like 3v3 WoW style arena battles. It's got 5v5 like Mobry modes. And then it's got like Diablo dungeon crawling PVE stuff. It's got like tons of different stuff in one game. It's crazy, but yeah, it was really fun. Hopefully, they extend the alpha because it's supposed to end today at four. So hopefully, they extend that, and then I'll probably be streaming it after the show. Interesting. 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 Uh, anything else? Um, on that, just like buying all, buying all the stuff. I didn't realize how expensive it is to uh, move into an office because you have to buy basically an office. Yeah. Yes. Do you have to have <laughs> things like, to go into that office? Otherwise, yeah. it's yes. just called a room. Yeah, it's just turns out uh, I had to buy a lot of things and then I keep buying things and I'm like, I'm ready. And then I'm like, shit, I don't have a desk. So, Sam, are you saying that you could use some cheers in your life? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> Maybe. Cheers, love. Bits. Maybe. Bits. <laughs> <laughs> are you saying that you could use 
a little bit of help. I'm saying maybe let's, if people, let's, you know, might pop over Twitter TV slash tripping and throw a few cheers in the air. Uh, that would that would buy an, another light for the office space. I just want I just want to point out bits are being thrown in the chat. And yeah, it, it's, and you it's know who gets JP. them? It's, it's, <laughs> this, this this beautiful smile is what gets them. Not Sam. You got to go to Sam's it. channel to give him bits. No, not me. Showing up for me. I'm not seeing shit in chat. What? You got to scroll um, up, man. See 250 better, right there. Look at that. Yeah, better, better Twitch. Better Twitch TV blocks. Wait, do them. you do you have better Twitch TV? Because it actually blocks them. Yeah. <laughs> this is like I'm so glad this happened. I don't like better Twitch TV, so this is the first time when people have to just get on my level. Yeah. Oh man. You're missing. Okay. You're missing all the bits, spam. Someone just. I, I'm not gonna add up all those bits, but there's a lot. Well, and how much is bits, how, what is each bit worth? Can't tell you. What? Can you really put a value on excitement? Can you really put a value on <laughs> life, Jesse? I don't, I don't know. Yeah, but are the bits like... bits is $1.40. Oh, all right. So, I, I look, I was thinking like, damn, 100 bits? That's crazy. So, that's, dollar, it's, dollar it's 40 actually quite reasonable. All right. How, yeah. How many, how many pounds is that today, Sam? That's about 61. <laughs> um, about 60p. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> we'll check in with you again tomorrow. Yeah, might, <laughs> tomorrow. Who knows? Yeah, I mean, we don't have a present anymore, so that's good. There you go. <laughs> there you Who go. Need? Pocket, what have you been up to? I know you were in California, so I kind of know what you've been up to. So this is a leading question, but tell me what um, you've been up to. Oh my gosh, VidCon is awful. It is so bad. I've <laughs> never seen so many wannabe Justin Bieber's. Why? Uh, can I? So that's about very true. Me? There was very many. And I will say that they were your. Maybe this is me being a dick, but they were mostly European Justin Bieber's. Is that accurate? Oh yeah. Oh no, no. Most of VidCon is like the like swooshy crazy yeah. hair. No, I saw hair that defied oh, physics multiple times. I, I have a question for for they both had, of they you. They had accents. For both for for really all of you. What were you doing at VidCon? What sparked this? Why did you go? Oh, I, I went because it was Aaron's birthday and we all went to Disney on Wednesday and I decided to stay a day to see what VidCon was like. <laughs> see, I didn't Because the flight was cheaper. That's really I've why. never been to Disneyland, so and it was Aaron's birthday and a bunch of friends were there. And then I was like, I'm curious what VidCon's like. I went like for two hours one day and I was like, I'm never going back in that con ever. Like it was so bad. Yeah. Was, like you go into the girls' bathroom and it's just constantly oh my god i met markiplier and he touched my arm and like oh my god i think he likes me what no. i wanted to really I saw, hate I saw you do that. i'm gonna call you out here because i saw you do that with jenna marbles <laughs> oh oh yeah i didn't no no Wait, touch no. jenna marbles arm and be like i, I think she likes me thank you <laughs> There's a yeah difference. and damn. i'm never washing this hand again because it touched her shoulder damn <laughs> <laughs> Pocket I, moving on up. The, the, the best example of, of VidCon you can ever have, and this explains all of it for people who have never been or don't know what it's like. Uh, there is a Hilton right next door. Yes. And in that Hilton on the first floor is a bar. And during yes. BlizzCon or any other con, that place is packed and crazy. And it's a lot of fun. And it's just like, I'm going to get drunk with the devs who made Warcraft. This is cool. VidCon is five or six YouTubers in the bar and then a vast array of young like, but I will say, Jesse, on the outside, it actually was like, not staring. like that this year. What? Because if you didn't have a Hilton room, you were not allowed to get into the Hilton. Ah, uh, well, that expl that's exp there's the reason why that exists. Yeah, oh, I have a comment past, on this, It was though. crazy. It was actually incredibly nice because on all the featured partner rooms, there was security every ten rooms. Literally, a security guard that sat in a chair. 24 hours a day on the entire floor and it was how great. How sad is that? How sad that that is needed at a con like that? I mean, you're right, like, but is, still it's great. Pocket, you insane. had a comment. I'm sorry to No. So, Hilton had insane security. It was like, absurd. It was everywhere. so cool. And they stopped. I was in I was in the hotel going down and they're like, "Excuse me, do you have a badge?" And I'm like, "I'm leaving. Why does it matter now? I would have already done something." It's like, "Whatever. Yes, I do." <laughs> But... And the body's already cold. I already <laughs> why would you even and that's why Pocket will never go back to VidCon. 
<laughs> but no, but then like you straight up, you go out the hill and, and walk straight into the con, no security, like no, no bag check, nothing. And I'm like, what? Even PAX has bad bag checks and metal detectors. Yeah. Uh, so it was we... supposed to have them. They announced that they would have them. Oh, that's they, true. I, they I should have just walked in. You're right. They didn't they have like, bag checks or anything at the door. thousand dollars on metal detectors at every entrance. And then they didn't have any of it, apparently. Yeah, that's true. That's true. So that was uh, that was me and pocketed California Adventures. It was it was an adventure. It happened. Adam, what's been going on for you, sir, in the uh, the Canadias? Uh, it's almost Canada Day, which is like the, the Fourth of July. The fuck is fuck. Canada Day? Canada Day is our Fourth of July. Um, it involves the Queen, usually some some dignified recognition of the fact that we are not America. Um, and then everybody just gets drunk and watches Jeez. fireworks. So oh. I mean, that's a, it's a good thing to celebrate. We are not America. <laughs> that is that's a good true. holiday. Yeah. So that's uh, that's coming up, and I probably will just end up staying inside because people are the worst. Um, but I'll like play some Canadian video games. I guess that's a that's a thing. The last time, the last time that I had a stream on Canada Day, I had literally spent like a dollar, or I spent an hour explaining the dollar, the Canadian dollar. And oh. I like had to show everybody this is what a Canadian coin looks like, and the and loonies think, and the toonies. Yeah, people think you're from fucking Narnia if you say you're from Canada and start going into details. Um, but <laughs> yeah, other than I didn't that, even know you were Canadian. Really? What? It comes up a lot. It kind of comes up a lot. Uh, huh? Huh? I don't know. Pocket. Sometimes I wonder how you wake up in the morning. I really do. <laughs> it takes a long time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it makes sense. So yeah, I've been doing that, getting ready for Canada Day, not really, um, and playing um, playing MXM, like uh, like Sam said. Um, it's a strange, strange game. It's weird that they just kind of decided to make a game that's three games. It's um, fun. But yeah, I, uh, I had a good time. I enjoyed it. I'll, I'll probably play some more of it. Um, yeah, and uh, I've been prepping for this, doing lots of, lots of RPG stuff, which is, you know, all I ever do. So. Pretty much your life now. You're just Pretty much RPG. my life. You're just an just RPG broke. guy. Yeah, which is great. I feel good about that. Yeah. I'm into it. I'm going to be a JRPG guy tonight as I play the new Star Ocean, which I've heard is terrible. So we'll see if I oh, last. That's yeah. so disappointing. I was kind of excited for that. I mean, it, it's it's middling. I've, it's getting like a bunch of sixes and stuff from all the import reviews. So maybe it, it's it's probably bad. I'm not I'm not even going to try to hype it up for myself. But I'm still going to play yeah. the full thing because I'm a uh, master. This is a, that's, not, that's not unusual for you, though, right? Like, you like playing bad JRPGs. I kind of have a thing for bad JRPGs. Yeah. I played right? all of... Oh, no, Wait, dude. what are you talking about? Uh, Star Ocean comes out tonight. Oh, and then you okay. got Tales of Bazaria coming out? That actually looks great. I'm actually really excited for that. I, I wanted happy to. Uh, we happy for you. What? If I had if I had a Wii U, I, I would so. probably play Tokyo Mirage Sessions. It looks weird as hell, but I've heard a lot of people good. talking about that. Yeah, yeah, it's been all over the social medias. But I'm not going to buy a Wii U just to play one game. Sorry. What if I told you there's a Zelda coming out for the Wii U, Adam? But isn't it coming out for the next Nintendo 2? It is. What if I told yeah. you that you could buy a Wii U and be ready for Zelda today? <laughs> Yeah, you know, I could also play Twilight Princess on the GameCube, but I'm not going to do sorry, that. I'm sorry, Reggie just Reggie just took over my body, guys. I'm back. This is JP speaking. Help me. <laughs> but yeah, uh, that's that. So there you go. Uh, anyways, Adam, we were in a bar and we just walked into a secret door, if I remember correctly. Yeah, y'all, y'all were doing, y'all were doing great. I had to go back. I watched the, I watched the last vod to catch myself up. So uh, there was some, uh, some important things. Uh, impromptu. Attempt to remove a tracking device on the part of Lana Jory. There was some uh, knife, knife on skin action. Um, she didn't go so good for you, if I remember correctly. And then uh, I didn't. I didn't get a despair though. So that's true. Yeah, you didn't nick an artery or anything, which I know. Also, we were all maybe here. Let's roll the things first. The the light side points, and then I want to say something about, or then I want to say something about the rebels after that. All right. And okay, I'm only doing this because I don't want to curse myself. That's that's pretty much okay, the entire let's, reason. Let's go ahead and do that. I've already uh, I've already cleared the uh, I've already cleared the, the okay. pools. You cleared the the pools. Who wants? Okay. Oh, there's two. That's good. So nice. far, so good from Lana. Oh, fucking Daniel Sam. Got to throw it off. Fucking Sam. Uh, Jesse, you want to go? You want me to go? You go. Okay. Yeah, Motherfucker. Okay. Right yeah. down the right down the line. All right. What else we got? Uh huh. Come on, Jesse. You're putting too much pressure on me. Did you? <laughs> Jesus. 
God damn oh it! Oh my gosh! Seriously? Fuck! I cursed us. <laughs> Thank Actually, you, that's still that's still better than the light side, 100%. Oh, none of these cams are working. That's cool. Uh, I was so focused it's, on... It's, uh, the, it's the dark side. Yeah, that's I was fine. so focused on uh, on everything else. <laughs> I didn't get these cams working. Um, the light side's really bad at rolling destiny points. Like They're really, really, really bad at it. It's true. Yeah. 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 The last time that we, we played, they were all... Was that, wait, wait, was that what you were going to say? Oh, yes. We well? <laughs> yes. You should have said it. You should have said it. You should have said it. Now we look like idiots. Yeah. <sighs> Talk yeah. about that's like my one good role for today. <laughs> Just get it out of there early. That's good. It's important. So there you go. Cool. All right. So I, yeah, I got I got four. You'll start with two. Okay. Cool. Well, that's good. That's that's nice. Good place to start. I got to get more aggressive about using them. I always feel a little bad because Sam cries a little every time I use a dark side point against him. I think we traumatized him that's in the PTSD. first session. Yeah. Yeah. So I feel a little bad about that. I don't want to like trigger your PTSD, but I got to get better at using them because then you can have them. You can use them again. Um, there you go. So yeah, uh, last session, yeah, we ended in that uh, that bar, which Lana had been to before um, and, and led all y'all there. It's in the middle city on Terrace. Uh, I believe the current state of the the uh, the, the, the city uh, planet is that the upper city is under imperial control again. The middle and lower cities are still being pacified under the uh, under the orders of the new uh, the new moth. Uh, Moff Real Cut Part Two. Um, so Dade is doing that, and part of his pacification efforts were to basically throw you as a group to the wolves, right? That you're all secretly rebel um, mm. uh, traitors, and uh, the whole thing was like a rebel plot. So you fled, and uh, your stormtroopers are pretending to look for you. Um, and uh, yeah, and there was there was this uh, scene in the bar where you killed some of the rebels that were waiting there, and. Belsa rummaged through their their materials, looking for some some tactical stuff. Um, but I don't know that anybody had a plan of like where to go next or or what to do because no, we had we closed. Did find the side mission stuff though? That I have to hold on to. Yes, yeah, that's right. You found the the rebel intelligence. That's right. Um, and yeah, uh, Theron. Uh, we ended with Theron making a call to uh, to his his agents, which confirmed that the rebels were lying to Lana the whole time. Right. They never, they never had the leverage over you. They claimed to. Um, <laughs> yeah. Well, we also saw them being jerks, right? Like they, they were beating up that doctor that tried to help you and they've been like following you trying to. Cool. Trying to and they, they killed the guy that I prostituted myself to. Yeah, that's right. You're right. <laughs> I you're forgot right. that happened. <laughs> <laughs> Your armor went into NC-17 mode for a little while and then. <laughs> Yeah. So, so right now you're kind of, you're kind of without, uh, without allies, right? Like you have, um, Lana's friend, Neb, the, uh, the smuggler, um, you aren't really in touch with your stormtroopers. Uh, TK161 and his squad are kind of pretending to be like hunting you down. Um, and, uh, yeah, and y'all are in the, the middle city having just, uh, just discovered the, uh, discovered the bar. So I guess question then is uh, what now? Like, Commander Commander Talon, what's what's the priority here? What do you need? What do you want to do? Well, I mean, the information that we have that is in what form? Like when the stuff Sam found, what is like? What is that exactly? Um, probably like um, uh, probably like a bunch of like data data chips. Um, and then maybe like a couple of maps of uh, like tactical deployments or intended deployments on Terrace. Uh, sort of one of these like, we will hit these facilities to weaken the empire kind of things. Um, stuff that is uh, related to as yet unhatched rebel plots. Do we, um, is there any information about rebel locations in there? Uh, on the planet? Mm -hmm. um, let's take a look at, because we still have your roles in the... Uh, the thing here. Um, Belsa, no, right? So, because Belsa made a warfare check and didn't get any successes, but got a triumph, which meant like a, a side goal was was resolved. So, it's not of anything that's of value or use to you right now, but if you return it to uh, HQ, they'll be able to use it to further cement uh, the, um, uh, the, the hold the Empire has on the planet. All right. Well... I think I think I speak for my fellow Imperials in that 
we need to murder the shit out of these uh, rebels. And I feel like just unleashing Lana to do that. So, um, <laughs> you know, they, they lied to us. So, so if anything, you should have some sort of vengeance stake in this. And I would like to blow them up. And I know I have JP here to do that. And, you know, Sammy boy, he's long for the ride. So I say, even though technically we've achieved our goal, yeah? Like, what is our, like, our overall goal we're sort of done? Was it take out the, the moth, right? Yeah, I mean, it's it's sort of up to you. So this this is the thing, Theron. Like, if you leave, you could you could just, like, make an exit plan and get the fuck out of here, right? Like, you could be like, all right, we're going to find a safe place in the upper city. We're going to get a shuttle. We're going we're gonna to leave and call for, you know, backup. Um but if the new Moff's government ends up falling and Terrace reverts to Republic rule, you know who's going to get blamed for that, right? It'll be like, you didn't do your job well enough, right? Things aren't cemented. Um, now there's a whatever off chance, like I, I would probably just determine that randomly in the background, but you'd be basically washing your hands of it. You'd be like, we replaced the Moff and we're good to go. Um, but if you can take out Greenskin and his enforcer, um, once they're gone, then basically the Moff will have no further uh, obstacle to his. Well, opinion. obviously we have to kill them. Yeah, uh, you gotta be thorough. Eh, eh, capture, then torture them. So, um, the t- the to death is implied. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, I definitely think we're we're in this. So, I I want to take out the commander. She's the one that faked the document. Or you can, the, look. She's all yours. She's all yours. As long as, as long I'm as. I'm going we, to we, stab her. <laughs> um, I think we definitely need to get the information that we got, like the maps and stuff, somehow back to the moth, or at least find a way to get one of the stormtroopers to get it back, um, or, or we straight up just find a way to broadcast it all and just be like, hey, this is where rebels plan to attack, right? Some some way to get that information out there so that someone can have it. And then we need to um, uh, either lure them or find a way to find them. Because, I mean, we effed up this bar. So I imagine at some point they'll either come back, some will come back, or something will happen. Like, we need, we need uh, to set a plan in motion to find these guys. Mm-hmm. So I open the floor to anyone who has any ideas. So Belsa, you know, just based on looking at the information and and your experience with tactics, this information is more valuable when the rebels don't know that you have it because they're going to continue to enact their plans and you'll be able to intercept them. Um, So there is a sort of time is of the essence factor to to this stuff you picked up. Mm. But uh, as for, yeah, as for what to do with Terrace, uh, that's entirely up to you. Well, all all right, yeah. So I definitely think priority one should be finding a way to get the information we have back into Imperial hands because that's probably the most important. It'll prevent future attacks and uh, secure us in the knowledge that we have one up on the Rebels and we can um, uh, then move on to hunting them down. So uh, is there... I mean, do we know anywhere that 161 would be or a way to get information back to the moth? Well, well, answer that question, Evan. Um, I mean, not anything that you're, you as a player wouldn't already know. Um, there isn't any kind of like secret way to get in touch with them. Part of, part of the illusion is that they are out of touch with you, right? Right, right. All so right. So the question, my, my question is out of character, uh, is there something that we have that the rebels want? Or is there something that we could get that the rebels want? Don't and they I, want me? Um, I mean, they, they, they want, they want the, the planet to leave the Imperial government. Yeah, they want to overthrow the government and, and free the, pre, the people from their but then, fashion. There's, there's no singular, singular person or object or anything that they want that we could basically say, hey, this thing is here. Come and get it. And then we're gonna fucking kill you all. That's not in the message that we send them. <laughs> well, right. I mean, one would hope. <laughs> they, I mean, one would think that they would want me because they've been after me the the whole time. But also, wouldn't someone eventually come back to the bar? Because if they have all this tactical information there, 
wouldn't someone eventually return to like Ch yeah, look? Copenhagen. Yeah, because no one knows that we just f this place up. Well, like, the bar the bartender who Otto left alive uh, definitely does, um, and he was told he was told to leave, um, but. So really, it, tactically, one would think that the information we gathered is pointless. Because if I was the rebel commander and I knew that my base had just been hijacked, all my plans would be like, all right, well, they're useless now. Really, because the information we find is, is pointless then. Unless you can get it to high command now and they can, uh, they can attack um, like off screen, right? Because there, are, there is information in that, in that tactical stuff you picked up that says like there are X amount of ships in this sector right now waiting to like jump to terrace or, you know, so if you can get it to them fast, uh, they could just be like, cool, we're going to send a Star Destroyer over there and mess them up. How the shit did we do that? So basically our, our trail's gone cold and we don't know what to do next to get the rebels. Yeah. Pretty much, yeah. <clears throat> um, I mean, so can, you, can you I... Well, go, go ahead and say what you were going to say. I was going to say, Lenny, you still have the, the tracking device. Did you ever actually get it out? I can't remember. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it got out at the hospital. That's right. Yeah, so they're at the hospital now. And, but then yeah. I left it. I left yeah, it. Yeah, that's how her John died. That's right. Yeah. So yeah, That's why he died. Yeah. That's how that guy died. Adam, I want to use a game mechanic that I think is a game mechanic that we've never used <laughs> okay. before. Sure. Can I use a destiny point to call up a person that works that is in the rebel side that i'm friends with is that a, a applicable way to use a destiny point uh yeah i think so like um you want to just have a connection to one of the i want i want to basically be able to use my past to call someone or have a contact with someone or have a meeting with someone basically just meet with someone who understands what the rebels are doing and could give us information about what we need, what we need. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Um, yeah. I think the point, the spending the point would allow that person to exist and then you'd have to like make roles to convince them to help you or whatever, but you could set up the meeting uh, just cause you know, a guy, right? Yeah. That's why I want to do. Thing you can do. Okay, cool. Um, let me, let me use the use light side point. All right. Go go, go go gadget light side point. <laughs> All right, let me generate some Star Wars names and we'll we'll pick a name for this guy. Okay. Um So Three is he board. where yeah, do you just allow Jesse to do it? Where, <laughs> <laughs> where do you where do you know this this person from? Uh I would say that I don't necessarily know him, but he knows me. And so like he came to me and said in, in my past or something. It was like, I respect, I, I respect what you did on the battlefield. If you ever need me for anything, let me know. So I'm not even sure if he's going to want to work with me as an Imperial agent, but I'm hoping to be able to bend that relationship a little bit and get what I want out of it. Okay, cool. Um, so he's like a former member of the, um, the like Imperial military. Yeah, let's say that he was uh, he was on the Imperial side of Hoth and got captured and got turned into a rebel. Oh, okay, saw the error of his ways. Okay, and so this is someone... And maybe maybe I was his former commander or something like that. Maybe that's the tie-in. Okay. Um, so how does... So this person, uh, I guess, has seen you on the news uh, or whatever? Yeah, and like we, we were... I, I was shown somewhere on this planet, I was for sure in some news broadcast. So yeah, maybe that's how he knows, knows that I was here and he's been trying to get a message to me the entire time. Okay, cool. Um, all right. Well, I mean that we can, we can just start with that, with that scene. Then like maybe, maybe he's the one that comes to the bar uh, to, to like check it out. And we start with all of you in the, um, in the like back room and you hear uh you hear something like there's a, a sound, maybe like somebody getting knocked off a table or something uh, in the other room in the uh, in the, the bar. Um, so it kind of like alerts you that there's someone else, uh, someone else around. This is like just briefly after Lana's uh, temper tantrum. Okay, I I probably like make the militaristic um, uh, ability to just like go like that and like make sure everyone's fucking calm and quiet, and then sneak around the corner to see what it is. Yeah. <laughs> 
I was, I was trying to say emoji, but I didn't want it. That's not what you do in real life. Military emoji. <laughs> yeah. Military. I mean, military it, signal. Fine. Signal. That's that's the word right there. Signal is the word. But hey, I mean, give it time. Eventually. Eventually, we'll just. Military will just use emoji to communicate. Yeah. 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 Fuck dark future uh okay so uh yeah so you want to try to you know try to sneak out there and uh, check it out yeah i, I want to try to get the the first look first the the jump on them as it were okay all right um so make a uh make a stealth roll uh difficulty is going to be one one red one purple okay one red one purple so you're upstaging it uh no he's just the he's got one one in perception okay do i get an upgrade because i heard heard him can i have an upgrade because i heard him uh, i'll give you a give you a blue die okay yeah all right uh here's the roll i hope this is set up right because it's been a while that's okay. right and i got yeah. triumph Woo. triumph okay yeah so totally this person's totally unaware you i think because the room itself is hidden there's there's somewhere between the room that you were in and the other room like it's meant to be defended this way so you come out of the, the back room and you're hidden behind maybe like a two-way mirror or something in a short hallway. And you can see there is moving with, with like military precision. Um, there's a, uh, there's a, a soldier uh, and he's got two other, uh, two other soldiers with him and they've, they've spread out and started um, uh, basically like going through the room, checking for survivors. And they, they notice that you like, cause you, y'all, I believe your, your exact words uh, pocket where you found a dumpster to throw them in. Uh, so there are no bodies, but, uh, but yeah, they're, they're like moving through the, uh, moving through the room. Uh, yeah. Looking around and you, uh, yeah, you recognize, um, you recognize the, uh, uh, the, the guy in charge. Um, I guess if you were in charge of him, he was probably just like, um, if you're a sergeant, yeah, he probably just would have been like one of those. Yeah, grunt in your platoon, um, but he's he's older now, right? It's been it's been a while since since that that snowy plane, and uh, he looks like he's been through some shit. Um, yeah, grunt grunt Holst, um, his first name is Gareth. Uh, he uh, yeah, he looks like he's been in a fight or two since then, and he's you know he's like talking, and he's doing the same thing. He's doing the military emoji, you know, <laughs> with his that I taught well, him back in the day. Right. You know? Exactly. You rest. Yeah. You you recognize his whiskey tango smiley poop maneuver. Yeah. And uh, yeah, and so his his men are just basically like looking around and checking the room. They're they're clearing the room to make sure that it's safe. Um, but right. what they don't know is is that it is not safe because there is an auto hiding. Okay, so there's three of them there. Uh, yeah, yeah, and yeah. They're just kind of waltzing around the room. Uh, no, they're they're like they're clearing the room. Like one of them's watching the exit. Uh, Gareth is by the exit door, and then the other two are kind of like fanning out and checking under, you know, knocked over tables and kind of like moving around trying to check out what happened. Do I recognize uh, Gareth? Yeah, yeah, you definitely recognize him. What sort of insignias of the empire am I wearing? Uh, I imagine that's, I mean, that's entirely up to you, right? Like well, you, are we in like, we're Oh yeah. We're, we're in like street we're clothes, aren't we? Yeah. 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 No, uh, I'm in my sexy armor. Screw you guys. It's true. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> She's in that's her right. sexy armor. Yeah, you're in sexy armor. That's true. It's up to you. Armor. What It's up to you. What percentage of your midriff you want to be showing. Um, but, mind uh, it's our thing now. Yep. <laughs> Just don't <laughs> get good. shot. Just don't get shot there and you'll be fine. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that's um, Sam. That's a whole other thing. We're just like, yeah, you can go ahead and cheer for us describing sexy stuff to you. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us about your character's armor, Sam, in great detail, slowly. <laughs> <laughs> so his his that's title his <laughs> his title that I knew him as was Grunt. What what's his uh, title? It would have just been like like private, whatever the lowest. Okay, so pri private holes. So then, I basically like put my whatever pistol I had up that in the military emoji motion, uh, mm -hmm. put it down to the weapon, like put my, my hands up in the air and like slowly slide the thing up and, and say, uh, uh, private Holst. Do you remember me? Yeah. So, so when you come out, the, the three of them like snap to you, right? You suddenly have like blast rifles pointed at you. Um, and then yeah, Holst takes his hand off the, off the barrel and like puts it up. Um, can you make a make a charm roll? Ooh, this see this, will, this will go great. What am I rolling? See how this against? how this first impression goes. Um, let's say difficulty is going to be uh, it's going to be three purple. Oh boy, uh, three. Okay, here we go. Hey, 
That's not okay. the worst. <laughs> so it's very, it's very stressful for you. You succeed. Well, I mean, I'm walking out against three rebels, that, and he might not remember me. So sure, that makes sense. Yeah, totally. So mark mark that strain. So I'm up to you... seven strain because we had three before, and we haven't rested mm -hmm. at all since last time. Yeah, yeah, you're feeling the feeling the pressure a little, and uh, yeah, you come out, and he he kind of gives you a look, and then gestures to them to like. At ease, not to put the guns down necessarily, but just like, okay, we're not going to shoot this guy right now. And he, he, he takes his cap off. Um, and he's got this like really nasty, like scar that kind of like runs up into his hairline. Um, and uh, kind of gives you a steely, a steely look. And he says, um, it's captain now. I thought I saw you on the news. And he like looks back past you. And he's like, you got friends? I, I look to the left and say, two others are with me. He uh, he gestures. He's like, bring him out here. I, I walk out and then I, I turn to them and like use my head to motion. I make another military motion. Use my head to motion out. And then mm -hmm. I walk out and then I wait to see who comes out. Because I said two <laughs> and not three on purpose. Yeah. <laughs> so, who else comes out when I say that? Uh, I mean, Darren's not coming out because he was just put to death in prison on tv so yeah i can't i can't come out i yeah i can't i guess i'll i i can come out right yeah yeah it should be the two of you i can't do it i just I, stay put, I, I reach back and i press a button and my armor just automatically goes back into like full armor mode it goes out of <laughs> sexy mode <laughs> you can, like, one button like on the shoulder yeah it's on the shoulder <laughs> and it just yeah and then i walk out <laughs> Okay, so Belsa and uh, and Lana yeah, come Belsa's out. Belsa's just like stay here, sir, and just kind of like follows. So as they come out, I introduce them. Like this is Lana Jory, and this is uh, this is Belsa. And he uh, he looks around and says, um, "So is all this mess you're doing?" We shot first. <laughs> <laughs> and then I kind of just like maybe smile a little bit. I just look over at Otto and I'm like, I, I no, I didn't shoot at all actually, and I like point to like my vibro sword. Yeah, I think when you like go to like even move your hand towards it, they kind of like you hear the like the moving of their armor as they like point the weapon at you, and I just, um, I just laugh. And I, I the I second that happens, I'm just like Lana, weapons down, please. Oh, all right, all right. <laughs> so he. Uh, he looks back at you, uh, Otto, and uh, and he says, um, "What the hell's going on here?" We needed some information. These men didn't want to give it to us. I'm hoping that our ties are still strong, and we can get that information from you and go about our day. Kind of narrows his eyes at you, and he says, um, "I uh, I've been hearing conflicting things. First, you're working with the moth." And then something about the factory district and you're all arrested and the moths killed. It's been a busy couple of days. I so who's like study really on? Uh, I look towards Belsa and I see like the fucking empires and all over her shit. She's got a little fucking like keychain of Darth Vader on the side of her. And I'm just like I Sweet think it's Darth a, her neck tattoo. Yeah, yeah. I'm just like, I think it's pretty obvious. But that doesn't mean we need to fight here. Um he says uh, it looks like the fight's already been had. You, uh, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> we were just having a drink. What'd you find in the back room? I can't, I, I look towards Belsa because I don't actually know what we found in the back room. Uh, she just kind of like rattles the glass that she's drinking from and the ice kind of like clinks. <laughs> and she's like, nothing. Or we wouldn't be having this conversation. Are you saying there's more in the back room? No, I'm saying there's nothing in the back. I wasn't talking to you, Belsa. <laughs> <laughs> this, uh, this, is, this isn't the only place like this. We have them all over the city. 
So if you found anything of value there, it's just a small piece of a much bigger puzzle. Do you have your kind? He he kind of gestures. He's like, your kind, your time's up on Terrace. Are you saying that you're removing me or that I should find my way? I think he, he kind of like looks over at like his, his men and he says, um, well, I'm not going to shoot you on sight if that's what you're asking. But if you're going to take your, and he like looks at Belsa and Lana uh, and, uh, and looks back at you and he says, if you're going to take these two and get off the planet, I never saw you. It's the best offer I can give you right now, you know. In light of before. Uh, he said captain, right? Yeah, he's a captain now. Okay, so I say, Captain Holst, is there any chance we can talk uh, one-on-one, perhaps, behind the, uh, behind the building or back in the back? Alexia, I don't know what I have to say to you anymore, Otto. You don't have anything to say. I have much to say. But I don't want it in front of your people, and I don't want it in front of my people. And uh, yeah, I think he lowers the the blaster rifle, and one of the rebel uh, troops next to him, uh, she's like, "Sir," and and he puts his hand up, like it's okay. Um, and uh, and he says to his his friends, he's like, "Keep an eye on these two. And uh, turns and and walks towards the the like front door. Okay. To leave. Yeah, I, I turn back and say, "No fighting, please," <laughs> and start walking out. And uh, then I turn to Lana and say, "Make sure that the." Back room is kept private. I nod. And then like wink and, and then walk out. Yeah. <laughs> I kind of get caught off guard by the wink. I just like look at Belson like what? <laughs> I just shrug. <laughs> yeah. So I walk outside. Okay. Yeah. So he's, he's outside. He's, uh, he's standing under a, um, like, a uh, like a spotlight. Um, the air is hot and, uh, damp. Um, and there are you know, people moving by. It seems like if anyone noticed the firefight, they've all since gone. And there's no like police or stormtroopers or anything down here. So, yeah, he's leaned up against the wall, uh, and he's uh, he's like smoking. He's like taking out a, a, a death stick. And when you come out, he, he offers you one. Yeah, I, I take it, okay. <laughs> light it up. Say, I haven't had one of these since uh, I think the last time you were on our side. Yeah. <laughs> I know that's what they're called. That's what they're called. Continually, the DEF worst name in Star Wars. Yeah, that's right. And he, uh, yeah, he takes a takes a dragon, blows the smoke up in the air, and looks at you and says, "Yeah, I hear they're good. I hear they'll kill you." <laughs> I, I, my character laughs a bit, and uh, I'm like, "Do you remember how we used to handle issues that arose in the uh, the old battalion?" Kind of gives you side eye. Say, so how about we go uh, go into that alley over there and see who comes out? He uh, he shakes his head and he's like, oh, "We don't do it like that anymore. I gave all that shit up." You're going soft on me now. It's a new age, Otto. New Republic. Empire's on the ropes. Those Death Stars were expensive. It's only a matter of time. Well. I guess if it's going to be like that, how about we just trade information? I need to know where some rebel camps are here. You, or whatever whatever the information is we need to know. I fucked that up. I don't know what the information we need to know is. I'm not an information I mean, guy. So I'm just like, I need to know some for... rebel information. Yeah, I need to know information here. You picked the correct item from the dialogue tree. There you go. Um, there you go. <laughs> yeah, I mean, so you want to know where... Um, you want to know where uh, Greenskin and them are hiding out, right? Right. So you can go get them. Right. Um, and and to be honest, is Greenskin like full on rebel or is he like? Yeah, yeah, he yeah. yeah. He's the okay. he's the rebel like agitator on the planet. He's the guy in charge. Okay. So yeah, I, I say I need to know where where Greenskin's at, and for that I'm willing to give any information you want as long as it's of equal value. He, uh, and you can see that he's, he's like turning it over in his head. Right? And, I, and, and as he's saying that, I'm like, and I would assume with green skin out of the way, there's probably a promotion in your future. And I think he sighs and looks at you and, and he's like, uh, I told you Otto, it doesn't work like that anymore. We're all in it together. It's not like the empire. I'm not constantly waiting for someone to stab me in the back. 
People in my unit, they're my friends. We look out for each other. Something that hurts the unit, green skin goes down, it's on all of us. That's what the Republic's about. And he like puts his hand on your shoulder and uh, he's like, you don't have to go back in there. We can leave. There's a place for you. I ca- As he does that, I like take a very long drag of the death stick and like stare at his arm mm-hmm. and then take the, the death stick and like put it out on his arm. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's got, he's got, like he's armor, got armor and stuff, yeah. so it's totally fine. It's not <laughs> but, like you're sticking it in his eye or whatever. Yeah, yeah. I just like put yeah. it out on his, not not to hurt him, but just to like say like, get your fucking arm off me right now. Yeah, so he, he lets go and he like brushes the, the ash off of his, his, uh, his shoulder and he's like, uh, it's a shame. It's a damn shame. You know, the second we walk back in there, my two compatriots are not going to let yours live. And probably you as well. That's a fight I don't want to have, sir. So what do you have to offer? What do you want to know? I've moved up in the world. I know a lot of things. Tactical information is just not going to cut it. I mean, you could be lying to me. You could tell your bosses. They could change their plans. We need something concrete uh hostage something like that guess the moth <laughs> like he's joking but kind of like he doing jokes that thing about right. the kid moth yeah yeah what if we gave or, or what if i gave you security access codes into the moth's uh moth's building you could sneak in do what you want It's tempting. It's real tempting, Otto. Thing is, anything I tell you, anything you tell me, we could have it changed. How are we going to trust each other? <laughs> I look at him like I take another long drag. Like this is very Metal Gear Solid where I just take a very long drag and mm-hmm. say, uh, did the war mean nothing? He's like, uh, <laughs> the war's over, Otto. It is, but not the, not the bonds that were formed. That's what I mean. You don't have to die. Not on Terrace, not in some battle on some other backwater planet. Like, I, then I just like turn around. I don't have anything else to offer unless you tell me what you want. You know that I want green skin. What, what will it take for me to get that? I need time to think about this. Uh, I, I tell him whatever my, we have short, oh no, we only have short range comms. So what, yeah. how would, how would he get in contact with me then? Uh, I mean, you could ask. Okay. Yeah. I, I, yeah, I say like, how will, uh, how will you contact me? I don't have long range communications on this planet. And if I do, it's all back channeled. Just give me a few hours. There's a cantina not too far from here. And he, he gives you directions. Um, and he says, uh, yeah, meet, meet me there in a few hours. I just, I need to get some things straight. Okay. I turn around to him and say, Holst again, if you betray me, I will kill everyone in that bar. Then I will go after your family. So please don't fuck this up. He, uh, he, he chuckles uh, and he, uh, he says, I already betrayed the Empire once. Not much more to it than that. Get your men out of the bar before my men kill them. <laughs> Just like walk back in. Okay. Yeah, he, he follows you inside. Um, and, uh, and he says, basically, as soon as he comes in, he says to his, his troops, he's like, we're leaving. And they're like, they look at each other like, what? But we like, we found them. What are we doing? And and uh, and then he, he kind of gives them a glare that's like, just don't argue with me, we're leaving. And they, they follow him, uh, and the three of them head out. Okay. Uh, so as they're like walking out and they shut the door, I'd turn around and say, well, we got to go to another bar. Hopefully we don't shoot that one up. We'll go in a couple hours. Hopefully we'll have the information we want. But then I'd, I'd just say, sir, are you still back there? <laughs> <laughs> uh. 
Theron is just spinning, spinning a credit on a table, just sitting there staring at it, just patiently waiting. And, <laughs> and he stands up and just lets it keep spinning and just sort of walks out of the room and enters the bar and uh, has a little look around and like sort of brushes off his, his shirt. And he's like, so? How did it go? Well, hopefully we'll have the information in a couple of hours for it to meet uh, Holst, a, uh, an old war friend of mine at another bar. Hopefully I still have enough ties with him to where he'll sell his, uh, sell his outfit out. And what did he want in return? Do you really want to know? I, I, yes. He wasn't sure, but I offered, I had offered him uh, security codes to the, to the Moff's uh, compound. And did you intend on giving him these codes? Wasn't sure. I probably would talk it over with you first. In my eyes, what's the matter if a young kid dies? This young kid is the moth of this planet. A loyal officer of the Empire. Unlike his father, he's useful to us. His death would be unfortunate. He's useful because you made him useful. You That's right, find... I did. You can That's find right. another. That's right, I did. No, <laughs> he owes us. Another is another relationship we must establish. It's not something I'm willing to do. I didn't know you were nope. going soft on us, Theron. Are you getting emotions oh, no. for this young kid? Oh, no. <laughs> no, but your friend will have to die. I just got... <laughs> Maybe that's where I take another long drag of a, <laughs> of a new death stick. <laughs> All of a sudden, I'm just smoking a lot. <laughs> uh, yeah. And I, I don't say anything to that. I just kind of let it sit in the air. Uh, and I, I guess unless Belsa or Lana or Theron have anything else to do, we can just go straight to the bar. Uh, we, I mean, we still have all those files. I definitely think we should try and find a way to get those to someone. Uh, do we have the out of game? Do we have the ability to open them ourselves? Do we have any sort of splicer or anything like that? Uh, yeah, I mean, they're not, they're not like, they're not encrypted uh, to a degree that you would have to worry too much about. Like, you could, you could try to memorize some of them, um, but. Uh, yeah, they're not. It's not like uh, complex databases of information. Can I not just like move them maps. to my data pad? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you can store them in whatever format you want, but they're still like on you. Yeah, yeah. I'll just, I'll just put them in the data pad. All right. Okay. Cool. Yeah, just mark on your inventory somewhere that you have. Um, uh, yeah, you have, uh, you have that information uh, on you. Okay. Um. Yeah, if, if we're good to go to the bar, Lana, do you want to do anything? No, I don't really have anything to do. Okay. I'm just following you all now and waiting to kill. <laughs> right, you're, you're just kind of like sharpening your blade and waiting to kill green. Yeah, skin, I'm just right? like, well, I mean, I'm not really sharpening a vibro blade, but yeah. Yeah, oh, that's true. You wouldn't do that. Uh, all right, yeah, I, I guess we just okay. fast forward to the, the bar. And we probably take like back alleys and stuff there. We don't. We don't just plainly walk in the open with Theron screaming, hey, I'm Theron. <laughs> Come and get me. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think I think once yeah, once you light that you light that last death that death stick, we get the, the diagonal wipe to um yeah, to the other uh, to the other bar. Um and uh this one like it's one of those places you could barely tell that it's a uh a, a public establishment from the outside. There's like a grimy window. Um, it has no sign. Uh, there's probably some like alien, uh, asleep, uh, under a blanket, you know, out front. Um, and, uh, yeah. And as you, uh, as you approach, um, Belsa, you, you feel, uh, you feel a sense of, uh, uh, the, like the presence of the dark side here. There's just like a, a, a sort of chill that goes over you. The, in the bar? Yeah, just something. There's a, a nagging sense of like something, uh, a sense of profundity, kind of like tickles at the back of your brain. Okay, I don't like share that with the group. But this is like kind of like heightened my alertness. Cool. Okay. Um, so I guess the camera follows all of you into the uh, into the smoky recesses of the uh, of the cantina and to your uh, to your meeting. Uh, and we'll uh, we'll take our first break there, I think.
Sounds good. All right, we'll grab back. So I got three hours left to go here on uh, week number nine, dark side number five of balance power. We'll be right back with hour number two. We'll see you then.